Hello friends, welcome to Edurates. Today we are going to learn history. And in history, today I am going to teach you ancient history. That means the oldest history. So let's get started. First of all, today I would like to explain you about the development of ancient history. How the ancient history was developed. That is which we are, which I am going to teach you today. The first thing which comes under the development of ancient history is the prehistory. So there are three types. Basically, there are three types of history, and the development of history was done in three phases. So basically, they are these three are prehistorical period, protohistorical period, and historical period. So today we will also learn what are the differences among them. what are their distinct features and how are they further subdivided so first of all let's start with the prehistorical period in prehistorical period we see we have two features the very first feature is that it has no any written proof and its architectural proof is available that means in the prehistorical period what we find is that we find many things except the written documents or except the written evidence we find burials we find bones we have found pottery's we have found graveyards we have found paintings we have found many things but we have not found any written documents of that particular period that is why it can be said that it has it has no any written proof available but it does have the architectural proof available so this is the prehistorical period where we find a very nice example that is the stone age in a stone age what we see is that we have found uh, many things as i explained you earlier but we did not find we do not find any uh, any written proof in that so further we will explain this i'll explain this further Let us now come to the second period, second historical period, that is the proto-historical period. In proto-historical period, we have everything available. We have the written proof available. We have the architectural proof available. But the written proof has not been deciphered yet. They could have, they could not have been deciphered because what? Because why? Because the script was not readable. A script could not be read. A script, a script could not be deciphered by any of the historians, since it was a pictorial script. Uh, we have a very live example here. That is the example is in the Valley Civilization. In the Valley Civilization, what we have seen is that we have found many things. We have found the complete city. We have found the urban life. We have found the all on all, all systems. We also have found the graveyards. We have found the uh, pottery's. We have found the jewelries. We have found every items. We also have found the the written things. There were many things written on the wall of the Indus Valley civilization in the caves. Written proofs were available, but since the script was not readable, so we could not decipher them. We could not read the complete things. So this is what is called protohistorical period, in which we have written proof available, but the script cannot be deciphered. And the third period is called historical period. which is very common to everyone everyone of us know it that the period which has literary and architectural proof available is called historical period so like we we study modern history we do, we study medieval history we study about gupta ideas all these have a complete accounts that means all the literary architectural proofs available as well as we take the accounts of foreign travelers so any foreign travelers like fahyan and hansan who came here and who wrote about our our conditions the conditions of indian history so that is also taken into account so if this historical period is complete we clear so we find it very in a, in a very uh, good manner now since we have talked about we will talk about these in the next videos Today our topic is the Stone Age. The example of prehistorical period is the Stone Age. So today we will talk about this chapter particularly.
so what is a stone age that's a question what is a stone age what are its types what is its timeline that is the very first question so let us go ahead stone age is nothing but the ages of a stone that means in this time our early men our ancestor used stones as the tool that is why the name stone has been given to this age see what happens in the previous time there was a tool to be used by the early man every time there was a distinct tool to be used by the early man sometimes early men used uh, stones later on early men says you early men used copper later on they used bronze and then after they used iron so the names of these ages were kept on those uh, tools only or on the metals only so uh, what happens is that what we see is that in a stone age the early men used to uh, use the stone as a tool so what happens that is why the whole sub categories or the whole later periods were named after the stone age only so what we find is that in this early men used the tools of the stone to do what we all know that early men used the stone as a tool to hunt the animals because they ate them they were dependent completely on what they were completely dependent on the hunting of animals they used to eat them for hunting them they needed a tool and they needed they made a tool of stones so when they made the tools of a stones we have called that age stone age now let us understand the sub categorization of the stone age it has been further sub categorized into three types that is paleolithic age mesolithic age and neolithic age see what one more thing you have to understand is that paleolithic is not very different because we find stone here as well lithic means stone lithic means stone so paleo means early so it is early stone age the timeline of which is from beginning to 10000 bc and it is what it is it is mesolithic that means middle stone age the timeline of which is from 10000 bc to 5500 bc and the and the latest one is the neolithic age that means new stone age the timeline of which is from 5500 bc to 3000 bc see you have to memorize the timeline timeline is very important in history if you don't memorize them you will get confused so please memorize the timeline further the early stone age that means the paleolithic age can be further subdivided so further it has got three types it has got three phases the first one is lower paleolithic age that means the earliest stone age what was from beginning till 1 lakh bc 1 lakh before christ and then further the second phase or the second period of paleolithic age was from middle pale was from 1 lakh bc to 40000 bc and that was called middle paleolithic age that means middle earlier stone age and then the last age the latest of the paleolithic age is the upper paleolithic age which was from 40000 bc till 10000 bc so this is was the complete picture of the timelines and the basic concept of prehistorical period further we will study about the sites and the locations as well as the important features of the stone age now we will talk about the different phases of the stone ages in which we will talk about the different distinct characters and the features of different ages of the stone age so first of all we will begin from the paleolithic age that is from the beginning till 1 lakh bc as we already know that so what are the sites which we have found in paleolithic ages and where are those sites located so and 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 as well we will also talk about the mesolithic ages and neolithic ages where those sites have been found as well as what are their economy what were their economies what were the communities style what were the, what were the climates and how were the tools used so we will start from the paleolithic age that is the old stone age so in the old stone age there are some sites which have been excavated 
The first site which we know in the Paleolithic age is the Bori Caves. Bori Caves has been excavated in Maharashtra in Pune district where the first evidence of human beings have been found. That is of 1.4 million years ago. And the second site of Paleolithic age is Polavaram. Polavaram is in Andhra Pradesh where it is the first Paleolithic site which was found in 1863 by Robert Bruce Foote. You know, Robert Bruce Foote was the British archaeologist who has been called the father of Stone Age because he has found many sites, he has excavated many sites of the Stone Ages. However, there are other important places as well like in Punjab, Kashmir, Sohan Valley, Narmada Valley, Chota Nagpur Valley, Singrauli Valley, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and, and Belan Valley are the sites, are the important places of Paleolithic age. In Paleolithic age, we find that the tools were made up of quartzite. Quartzite is a kind of stone, you know very well about that. So it's like blades, hand axes, flakes were made up of quartzite. How was the economy of Paleolithic age? The economy of Paleolithic age was quite simple. It was based on food hunting and food gathering. The people of that time used to do food hunting and they used to gather the food so that they can eat it in the time when, when they do not have the food. And the communities, the communities were actually the village communities were not formed in the Paleolithic age. People were not living in the villages. They were living in what? They were living in a band. So there were the band is what band is a small group of people where people used to live together. But it was not from a village. There was no there were no towns at all. There were no cities at all. It was just a small band where people used to live. And how is the climate over there? The climate was Pleistocene. It is actually the extreme cold condition. So people of that time used to hunt the animals. They used to gather the food for the extreme cold conditions so that they can consume the food when they are inside uh, the inside the houses whichever the huts and all that whichever where, where they used to live now talk about the uh, mesolithic age in mesolithic age we have found many sites as mentioned here and uh, the timeline of mesolithic age is 10000 bc to 5500 bc we must remember the timeline i have told you many times that please memorize the timeline so the sites of Mesolithic age has been found in Adangar, which is an MP, Bagor, which is in Rajasthan, Bimbetka caves, very famous cave. The, it is a short, short question in, in examination. So that's in Madhya Pradesh. Now Sarai Naharai, that's in Uttar Pradesh. So these are all of the sites which are of Mesolithic ages and are of very important. Now, if we talk about the distinct features of the Mesolithic age, then in Mesolithic age, the construction of houses were done. The houses were constructed, animals were being domesticated, ports were started to be made. We started early men you started to make ports. First pot was made in the world, that was the handmade pot in Japani Mando in UP. And you also must be knowing that the first animal which was domesticated was dog. So it was in this time that the the dogs were domesticated and many other animals were also domesticated later on but it was this time that the domestication of animals was started now if i talk about the tools and pottery of this time then the tools were very small stone tools that was called microlith micro means very small lith means stone so it was of very small stone microliths were started to be used in this age which was of one to eight centimeter in size and uh, pots were started to be made very frequently in this age and how was the economy of that time it was it was this time as well that food hunting and food gathering was the major source of uh, food and the the people of that time used to gather the food so that they can eat it in the time when they could not go out and uh, here the settlement and the community was uh, permanent partially not all the people started to live uh, in the permanent settlement but partially they started to live in the permanent settlement that means that means some of them started to live permanently and I mean, animals were domesticated in this time only 
and how was the climate over, over this time? In this time, climate was a bit of warming, so it was Holocene conditions and it, the warming condition for that time was very comfortable for living. Now we'll talk about the Neolithic age, that means the new stone age. The timeline of this age is from 5500 BC to 3000 BC. Now, if I talk about the location and the important sites of this particular age, then the, then the biggest site was found in Mehargarh, that is in Pakistan. It was the first site where the agriculture was taken in the Indian subcontinent. That means it was the site where the first agriculture was done in Indian subcontinent. Now talk about its features in Mehagar, they also invented cotton and potter's wheel on which the pots were made. So it was the first time in the world when the Mehagar people invented cotton and potter's wheel. However, there are other sites in India as well like Koldehiva in UP. Here is the site, this is the site where the first evidence of rice has been found in the world. In the world, the rice, where was the first rice being cultivated? It was Koldehiva in Uttar Pradesh. Bursa home in Kashmir, it's very famous and very important as well. Bursa home in Kashmir is a site where large number of houses under earth were uh, found where it is also called pit. Pit means a place where houses are made under the earth. So Burza Home in Kashmir is a place where large number of pits were found. Now we will talk about the next location, the next site which was found in Bihar in Chapra district that is Chiram. In Chiram we have found large number of bone tools. See bone tools was the basic feature of Neolithic age where the people of that time used to use the bone tools in the form of their tools to hunt the animals. So from Sriam we have found many number of bone tools. However, there are other sites as well like in Karnataka we have found some gold ornaments in Maski and in Tekela Kota. And as well as we have also some sites found in Tamil Nadu that is Pochinpalli, Nagarjuna Konda in Andhra Pradesh where these are the sites where we have found the evidences of Neolithic ages. Now if I talk about the tools which were used in the Neolithic ages that was the bones tools and the basic feature was also there that the weaving of cloths were started to be done. That means the cloths were the people of that time started to weave the cloth. So the polishing of a stone tools was also the distinct feature of Neolithic age as well as the people of that time started to make for terracotta. Terracotta means the baked uh, soil earthenware or the pottery ware. That means the pottery ware which was made up of soil and they were uh, you know they were made in fire. So that is that is why they were called terracotta. So terracotta, bone tools, polishing of a stone tools, weaving of cloths, these are the distinct features of Neolithic ages. If I talk about the economy of that time, then the food hunting was the main uh, occupation of people of that time. However, they also started to cook the food and started to eat. That means it, it is the first time when they uh, got to know how to cook the food and how is the taste of co cooked food. However, the basic distinct feature of this age was also the invention of fire and wheels. The people of this time invented fire as well as they invented wheels so some vehicles and some carriers were later on would be developed upon this technology of that time now uh, humans became permanent settlers if i talk about the communities specification communities features then humans became permanent settlers that means the humans of that very time started to set settle themselves anywhere permanently constructions of houses were made on a large level and from here only the the culture of agriculture was begun that means from here the the agriculture was started and if i talk about the climate of this particular age and it was comfortable for living as there was climate also in the mesolithic age so people started to live here comfortably now after the stone age is over the copper was discovered. Copper was discovered in 3000 BC and then the bronze was discovered in 2500 BC and then iron was discovered in 1000 BC. So what happens is that 
when the copper was discovered simultaneous use of copper and stone was being done and that age that time was called chalcolithic culture that means chalcum is copper and lithic is a stone so copper and stone was being used simultaneously that is why this age was being called chalcolithic that means copper stone age see this age is also very important as many of the sites have been found near in rajasthan because rajasthan is a great has a great source of large source of copper so like the places like ahar balathal gilund ahar is also called thambavati these are the places in rajasthan where we have found the sites for chalcolithic culture however there are also sites which have been found in malwa region like Kaitha and Iran. Iran is a very famous site of Chalcolithic culture in Malwa region. However, we have also found some some sites and locations in uh, Maharashtra, like Inamgaon, Jorve, Diamondbag. These are the important and famous locations of Chalcolithic culture in Maharashtra. See, this culture became extinct because of drought. There was the less rain, or the drought condition was there, so the culture became extinct. So that was all about the stone ages and the chapolithic culture.